Hey there, welcome back to Bamboo Bot 2 on YouTube. Fred Hornaday, every week discussing hot topics pertaining to bamboo. If you find these uh, videos interesting, useful, and informative, uh, please check out my website, bamboobatu.com. That's B A M B U B A T U.com. There's links down there in the notes and tons of information, way more information than I can get into in these little short little videos. So be sure to check that out if you will want to know more about bamboo. Today, we are going to talk about bamboo flower and bamboo powder. As you can see in the picture here, bamboo is, um, it can be very powdery. You're probably thinking that's not bamboo flower, that's baking soda. But anyway, yeah, it's a white powdery substance when it's ground up. That's not usually what bamboo looks like. No, it's, uh, it's either bamboo flower or bamboo powder. It's actually hard to tell in the picture, but there is a difference between the two. So let's talk about bamboo flower. Bamboo flower is made from the bamboo shoots. The bamboo shoots are super nutritious, great source of food, especially in these tropical areas, which oftentimes are also, you know, in developing countries where food uh, shortage is an issue. Bamboo shoots are a great renewable abundant source of protein and nutrition and widely used, especially in, in Asia. If you go to a Chinese restaurant or a Thai restaurant, um, they often put uh, some bamboo shoots in the stir fry. It's nutritious. It's crunchy. Um, it's good stuff. And it's actually got lots of silica in it. Bamboo is very high in silica. Silica is a trace mineral that's really good for building, um, uh, collagen. Collagen is in the elastic parts of the body, things like um, cartilage, um, hair, skin, joints, all the stretchy stuff. Um, it's really good for arthritis. Lots of benefits to bamboo shoots. These are some big, big bamboo shoots harvested in Laos, I believe. If you want to get technical, I think this is Bambusa bichiana. It's a tropical bamboo species that produces really big, really abundant, uh, bamboo shoots. Uh, it's commercially grown for the shoots in Southeast Asia, not widely grown outside of that area, but, um, I think it's starting to catch on bambusa bichiana, great source of bamboo shoots. So we know that the bamboo shoots are very nutritious. People have been eating bamboo shoots for a long time and it's recently been discovered. I'm not sure why it took so long, but if you ground up the bamboo shoots, uh, I think you want to dry it first, dry the bamboo shoots and then grind them up and you can make uh, basically like a flower. And like most types of flour, you can use that flour to make cookies and who doesn't like cookies, right? Right. So bamboo cookies are more nutritious than your average cookie, um, depending on your definition of average cookie. But, um, you know, of course you can load it with chocolate and sugar and all kinds of other things to make sure it's still fattening and delicious, but the bamboo flower itself is going to be really high in silica and other minerals and vitamins and protein. Um, in India, there's, uh, there's been kind of a wave of bamboo cookies or bamboo biscuits, I believe in the UK and in India, they, they call it biscuits. What we call in the United States, we call cookies. Um, bamboo biscuits does have a nice ring to it. I must say, and they are thought of as like medicinal cookies because of the uh, medicinal biscuits, because of the, uh, the nutritional um, benefits uh, and such in the, in the uh, bamboo powder, the ban sorry, the bamboo flower. Again, you can go to the website, bamboobatu.com. There's articles on there about bamboo flower, about silica in the bamboo and the benefits of eating bamboo. Um, lots of interesting information about it more than I can get into here in this video. But if you want to know more, there's, there's a lot more to know. Here's a really cool picture of the cross section of bamboo shoot. You can see the, um, the little, little air pockets in there. I believe the technical term for that is internodal cavity. Um, yeah, sounds good. Internodal cavities. And as the bamboo shoot stretches out to become a big, big, tall bamboo pole, those little gaps are the, the hollow, the hollow spaces inside the bamboo in the, in the internodes. Uh, but it's really cool to see what they look like in the, uh, in their infant stages. 
pretty cool. So yeah, grind that stuff up and you make flour and you can cook with it, you make cookies. Um, you can make pizza dough, you can make pasta. Um, this is a company here that makes bamboo pasta. Uh, bamboo spaghetti is coming on the market. There's so many cool things with uh, bamboo food products these days, and it's all based basically on bamboo flour. Um, yeah, a lot, uh, a lot you can do with it. Nutritious and delicious. Uh, so then bamboo powder sort of sounds like the same thing, right? It's just ground up bamboo and then it's ground to a powder, which you could call it flour or you can call it powder. But, um, and people use, you know, people use the same terms in all different ways. So the distinction I'm going to make may not be the distinction that other people use, but it is uh, something that you need to clarify when you're talking to somebody about it or writing to them about it in an email or ordering something off the internet. But um, the bamboo powder, when I'm talking about bamboo powder, and I believe the, the general understanding is that it's ground up from, from any part of the bamboo. Um, so that includes the shoots or the roots uh, like this here. This is some, some solid bamboo, which is kind of cool. Uh, I just use this picture because we're talking about grinding up the bamboo. And this bamboo, which is solid rather than hollow, is unusual, but it's going to have a lot more. It's going to make a lot more powder because there's a lot more bamboo there. Um, if you imagine grinding up a hollow bamboo pole, you think there's not going to be as much powder as there is in a solid bamboo pole, right? Pretty logical. Anyway, uh, you grind that up, whether it's a hollow pole or solid pole or the roots or, or the shoots or, um, well, usually the shoots because the shoots are softer, they're more readily edible. Um, it's more commonly thought of as a food product, whereas the shoots are very woody. You would not bite into it. Um, sorry, the, the, um, the poles the bamboo poles are very woody. You would not bite into them the way you would bite into a bamboo shoot. Um, it's a little bit more like biting into a tree branch, which most of us do not find appetizing. But if you grind it up, uh, if you grind that up in the powder, you still have that really high silica content and the other vitamins and minerals. And so that powder is being used in lots of nutraceutical products. So here we have some bamboo powder and extract. Um, this kind of stuff is sold on Amazon and various places online. You can maybe find it in your local health food store. If you can, if you're looking for this, I would always suggest try and shop local, try to get it from a local company, save on shipping, support your local economy. But uh, if you live in a little village like I do, you're not going to find it very close by. Uh, in any case, um, this is bamboo powder extract. It is not meant to be cooked into cookies or pizza dough. Uh, it's meant to be, uh, the instructions say, to mix it with water. Um, so you mix the, the powder with water and you have a, like an energy drink. You could also mix it into a smoothie or something like that to get a little more flavor. Put it into your kale smoothie in the morning to get a super, super vitamin boost. It's good stuff. Um, as you can see, the, um, the bamboo extract on the right, I have to point this out because as you know, one of my pet peeves is when they sell bamboo products and use a picture of a lucky bamboo on the uh, marketing material. And the picture on this package of bamboo extract is lucky bamboo, which is not actually bamboo. And most people don't even notice that, but I certainly do. And I'm sorry, but I find it a little bit annoying. Anyway, it might be a perfectly good product. I have not tried or sampled these two products, so I cannot say yes or no. But I can say that if you want bamboo extract, bamboo uh, nutritional benefits, you can actually get them from uh, lots of different ways from the bamboo. In fact, you can just pick the leaves off of the a uh, bamboo plant, if you have any growing in your yard or in your neighbor's yard or somewhere close by, get some fresh leaves, um, soak it in water, uh, maybe soak it in hot water like tea and drink it like a hot tea or let it cool off, drink it like a iced tea. As many ways as you can think of to make tea, you can make bamboo tea. And with all the different species of bamboo, there's quite a, quite a wide range of uh, experimentation you can do to figure out your favorite flavors and your favorite mixes. Uh, but the leaves are especially high in silica and it's a great way to get those nutritional benefits very easily without having to buy a packaged product from the store. 
So I uh, hope you found that interesting. Bamboo flower, great for cooking. Um, just to recap here, uh, I also forgot to mention the, the main difference in bamboo flower. Um, it's gluten-free. So if you want to avoid gluten, bamboo flour is a great alternative um, to the conventional wheat flour that has gluten, which more and more people are turning out to be allergic or sensitive to. So bamboo flour, great alternative that way. The only drawback really, uh, like other gluten-free flours, it won't rise so much. So if you want to bake a loaf of bread, it's not really a great way to go. But for making things like cookies, pizza dough, pasta, uh, things like that we talked about, uh, crackers, things that don't need to rise, uh, maybe a flatbread, uh, the bamboo flour is great for that. Um, and then if you want uh, more concentrated nutritional benefits, you can get the bamboo powder, um, which can be made from any part of the bamboo. It doesn't have to be the fresh shoots uh, where you have to be a little bit more careful and timely in the harvesting those shoots. Um, so maybe it's a bit easier to get the bamboo powder and you can get a lot more of it if you're talking about grinding up a whole bamboo pole. And finally, the bamboo leaves, which, um, I think are a great way to go, um, just for freshness and ease of preparation. The bamboo leaves are just so abundant. And, um, especially if you have a bamboo farm, if you're making something with your bamboo, if you're turning it into furniture or other products or crafts. You just end up with lots of leaves everywhere. And obviously you can't make uh, leaves into furniture, but you can use those excess leaves for something else, like uh, make some tea. Uh, it's a great, great beverage. Enjoy it with your friends. Enjoy it with your coworkers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like the stuff, check out my website if you really want to learn a lot about bamboo. And we will see you next week. Thanks a lot.